<laughs> Hi guys, I'm Deanna and this is my new dog Chewy. So Chewy is the newest addition to our family and we rehomed him a couple of days ago after I was in contact with the breeder since beginning of May. A little bit about Chewy, so he is a male red toy poodle. He was born in April, on April 8th, so he's about eight weeks old now and he is the size of a little nugget. Super cute and super small um, and he's a great size, especially for someone who like me has never had a dog before. So anyway, I wanted to make this video just to kind of go over um, some anecdotes that I have experienced uh, during the rehoming of a dog and also if I can provide some help for people in the same position as me. So a little bit about the whole process. So I started looking for dogs maybe the beginning of April and I have been in contact with a lot of breeders and I've definitely noticed a couple things um, about rehoming a puppy during COVID-19. Um, the first is that the demand has really skyrocketed. Um, you know, one day I was in contact with a breeder who had a puppy available to take home next week. I just, you know, needed a night to think about it before I committed. All of a sudden I get a text saying that the puppy is sold out, you know, a couple hours later. And, you know, that was kind of that. So that situation multiplied by maybe five times is kind of what I experienced. Puppies were just going like that on the fly. Another thing that I noticed too um, was pricing. Um, I think if I had gotten Chewy maybe a couple, maybe a year ago or a couple months ago, I don't think I would have paid as much of a price as I did with Chewy. Um, I won't go into too much detail about how much I spent, but girl, it was, it was a lot of coin for for this little puppers, but he's so cute, so I don't mind. So I do want to give a shout out though to my breeder, um, Nick, who obviously I got Chewy from. Every week he was sending me pictures and videos of Chewy so that I could be updated with his progress and what I could do for the first two weeks of bringing Chewy home uh, to make the whole process a lot smoother. So thank you, Nick. And um, yeah, hopefully this continues to go well. A couple of things as well with uh, with Chewy and my first week of him being home. So I would say in terms of categories, Chewy has aced quite a bit. Um, I would say the things that he's really good at is um, sleeping and kennel training. So one of my biggest worries with Chewy was that he wouldn't be able to sleep through the night and I'd have to wake up one to two hours um, just to go outside and let him potty. However, I've been putting him to bed at midnight and he ends up only waking up at 7 a.m. So that's kind of in line with how I fall asleep anyway. Um, so we have the same sleeping hours, so I think it was kind of meant to be. Um, another thing he's great at is he's, he's really good at adjusting to new environments. He's already really comfortable uh, being with myself and my parents and my brother. Um, he's already really sweet. Now, the one category that has been terrible, <laughs> I would definitely give him a D minus, is biting. Basically, over the past couple days, uh, he has just been nonstop chomping hard on my fingers and my toes. And it's really hard to get him to jump off of that. I try distracting him with treats or, you know, giving him one of his chew toys in replacement of my limbs and fingers, but he just thinks that these little things are, are chew toys. So if anybody has any advice or something that's kind of helped mitigate that, or if, if biting is inevitable, uh, do you have any advice on how to maybe soften their chew um, just so that it's less painful and, and my my fingers won't end up falling out. So I think where I wanted to end the video um, was just that this whole experience has been a bit of a whirlwind, especially through COVID-19, but um, I have to say that this was the best choice I've, you know, ever made. I've always wanted a puppy since I was little. <laughs> 
even a puppy is as crazy as this guy, sorry. I wanted to end off this video is just, you know, if you're on the fence about rehoming a puppy or bringing home a new family member to your life and to your household, I would just say do it, especially if you have the time and the resources um, to be able to give a loving home to a pet such as Chewy. It was the best choice I've ever made, um, especially um, just given how cute he is. I could not imagine life without this little guy. So if you're on the fence, uh, definitely um, give it a thought. I think he's getting a little tired, a little bit restless, so I am going to stop talking. He is probably annoyed with mommy because I woke him up from a nap. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'm also thinking of making a, a regular series of videos just to document Chewy growing up and also just some dog related things that I think might be fun. So if you have an idea or questions, let me know, uh, comment down below and click the bell thing for notifications or whatever. And um, yeah, we'll see you for our next video. Say bye, Chew. Bye. Thank you.